our guys created something in that locker room unlike anything I've seen for those of them you know who haven't seen us or haven't watched us like you see the joy um, you know we are extremely fortunate to have a bunch of, bunch of guys decided that the team is going to be the most important thing you know, they're excited about the opportunity they're excited about the moment and they know what it takes uh, so they've been willing to do the more that we've asked them to uh, to be ready to go and fight this fight tonight. had a breakthrough year. Right, they want to switch smalls onto our bigs. Throw them all into the bigs. Let them catch the ball in the paint and go to work. I learned a lot from this game. Um, I told you the other night, the last time we played Brooklyn, it felt like a, a playoff game. So, I mean, I got kind of acclimated to this one uh, from the last one. So, um, just another experience for us. Um, just watch the film and try to get better and get one Friday. Welcome once again to the NBA Play-In Tournament presented by Meta Quest. The building now called the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. They haven't had a postseason game since June of 2018. But this Cavaliers team has kind of captured the hearts of this city. A terrific young, talented team that's one win away from getting back to the playoffs. But they have to go through that man and the Atlanta Hawks. Meanwhile, Jared Allen is back as he missed the last 18 games of the regular season as Lisa Salt has documented. And this crowd is fired up. Mark, we've forgotten what it's like, how loud this building's been. No playoffs the last three years. They've been waiting, too. Let's be great for 48 minutes, okay? Let's be great for 48. Allen throws it up. Bowley throws it down. Scoops up the basketball, comes around Bowley. Hands it down low to Allen. Oh, with the right hand. Oh, welcome back, J.A. In left corner, Levert. Open three. Good. Timeout, Atlanta. There's Karis Levert. Levert on the drive, gets inside, whips it out. Mobley wide open for three. And the rookie on the board. Garland, Bob in the lane to Mobley. Left side, Marketing. Three on the way. Bullseye. Lowry Marketing. And that will do it. The Atlanta Hawks are going back to the playoffs. And a heartbreaking ending to a wonderful season for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, it's, it's a battle. I mean, I mean, the team we beat tonight definitely deserved I mean, a playoff spot, but this year is, is so tough. This was the most special group of guys that I've ever been around collectively. You know, I have not been around a group of guys who care so much about each other and care more about the group than any individual accolades or accomplishments. I feel like it just comes naturally for us. We just all come together, gel together very well. Um, every day in practice, we always have a good time, whether um, it's like after a loss or not, we always um, come, come
come to work ready and um, I feel like that's just how we are and uh, I feel like it's going to continue for years to come. Um, everything they did the entire year was for the greater good of the team and um, you know it is special to be a part of and I'm thankful um, and appreciative. Like I told the guys in there you know and this is being honest I, I didn't have one bad day with these guys going to work. Um, you know, wins, losses, ups and downs. But every single day we went to work together, we enjoyed each other. Um, and that's special. You know, as far as the team goes, you know, we're heading in the right direction for sure. Um, you know, we you know, accomplished a lot this year. Um, as a team, obviously, you know, with the wins, um, as individuals taking steps, and taking leaps, um, you know, tonight obviously is disappointing for it to come to the end so abruptly. But when you sit back and look at all the things that this group accomplished together, uh, you can really be proud of it. Hey Cleveland fans, I wanna say thank you for an amazing season. You guys had our backs throughout the highs and the lows, and we can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Go Cavs. Man, fans, you guys were amazing this year. I know there were some ups and downs. We didn't end up where we wanted to be. Um, but man, we have a really bright future. It's really exciting to be a part of this. This is the most fun I've had in my 14 years being a part of this group. The guys paying it forward for each other, celebrating each other. Um, so Cleveland basketball, Cab basketball is here to stay. All right, you're like, so Kelsey. Hey, all good? Hey, when obviously not getting the result you guys wanted last night, but we've talked so much about the growth of this team. What excites you about what you saw this year that, you know, you got where you guys could go next year? Um, you know, a lot of this stuff you'll, you'll probably uh, have heard me say during the year, but just, um, Guys, guys really worked. Um, and that's not to say that on other teams that I've been on or, or you know, have gone to the mountaintop didn't, it, but every day coming to work, putting in the time, you know, making sure that the next man was good. Um, and that's throughout our, you know, really our entire organization, but you know, our personnel that we had was a very high level, high level communicators. Um, guys that generally cared about one another. Like I told you, it had that, that college atmosphere, and I think that, that that made it. And I mean, that is a good thing. There's no negative connotation um, in that. But, you know, I think we're, we're set up to be good for a very long time and set up to, to potentially make some, you know, very special runs. I think, you know, obviously, you, you can't predict what's going to happen with, with injuries, but, um, you know, obviously not fighting that battle throughout a season for lengthy periods of time is, is um, obviously you know, less conducive to, to winning, but hopefully we can get reset, reevaluate, and, and come out at the beginning of next year and really make it a point to, to, to show that, you know, what we had done early uh, and often in the season was not a fluke. I think guys will have a major summer, big summers coming back, working on their craft, understanding how they can make the team better, and you know, just make it incredibly exciting when we come to camp and understand the, the goal. I'm still a little heart sick, to be honest with you. Um, it's, it's hard to process the season ending the way it did um, and that we're not still playing, but such a remarkable year for so many reasons. I think the, th the thing I, I come back to a lot is just talking to our fans and then rival executives or coaches on the road that watch us play. And they say, man, you guys are so much fun to watch. You know, they were playing the right way, unselfish, great character um, players um, that really bought in and, and you know, give JB Bickerstaff a lot of credit for creating identity, a culture, uh, a buy-in about team. Um, this really was a team that was uniquely for Cleveland. And I think you, you saw the fan base really um, embrace this team. 
Um, and it was uniquely theirs, and I think that's probably what I'm, I'm most proud of. You know, unselfish play. Obviously, we had a lot of individual successes, um, but when, when you guys write about the Cavs, you write about the Cleveland Cavaliers and what they did this year. Um, I, I'm pretty proud about, about, about those achievements. You know, me and JB met with every player before they left. Um, this was the first time that they didn't all have plans right after the season. Think about that. Um, <laughs> that usually the season, you know, two, three weeks, you know, a week from now, uh, we're, we're done. So can't cook, whatever, the, you know, whatever it is, Cabo. Um, this is the first time you ask each guy and they're like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, they think about it. I didn't think we'd be done yet. So that already shows you um, their disappointment because they wanted to keep playing. And I think that taste of the two postseason games and know how close we were, uh, they're going to tell you. They're going to say we want playoffs next year. What are we doing? Right. <laughs> sure. What's up, everybody? How, um, you know, you talked throughout the season about the successes that you guys had. Um, how do you balance that against the loss of last night and the season coming to an end? Uh, I mean, obviously, that's something. I mean, we knew that Atlanta is, you know, a good team and they're, they have experience and they're kind of used to that crowd. But um, I can say that we're really uh, disappointed that we, that we couldn't go further because we knew that, you know, we deserve that. And we knew that... Um, we have a great team and great characters in the locker room. And obviously this was a hell of a season for us. It really was after those three years that we had, we started like building and getting better every day. And then we started going up towards the goal that we, that we want to the playoffs. Um, obviously we, we didn't make it this year, but I feel like uh, there's a bright future for us and a lot of, a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff. Um, I'm just really proud of the team, like how we played the whole year. Um, to the best fans in the world, we appreciate y'all for supporting us the whole year. I know uh, you guys wanted to get in the playoffs as we do, but uh, as we did. But, you know, like I said, there's a bright future in front of us and I uh, appreciate y'all for being with us the whole year and uh, we'll come back uh, stronger next year. We'll see you soon. Um, just thanks for coming out. It was a great season, great year. Um, we really appreciate you. Um, and we need you guys for next year. We're going to come even stronger, so, yeah. Um, Evan had a remarkable year. Obviously, it's no surprise. He's a finalist for Rookie of the Year. Um, sort of like, you guys got to know him throughout the year from his play and his his um, you know his post game press conferences that he was in a lot of. Um, you know we got to learn about him as well. And look, I think the thing that we you know, we have wonderful character people in this building uh, that come from wonderful backgrounds. Uh, when you think about the Garlands, the Sextons, the Okoros, the Mobleys are no different. They are just incredible people. And his mother Nicole. Uh, was here for almost every single game. Um, the only time she didn't miss, she missed a home. Only time she missed a home game was to watch her son Isaiah play in the Pac-12 tournament. Um, and then the father came. Eric came uh, after their season, another run in the, into the NCAA tournament. He coaches at USC, and you could just see just an incredible background of foundation that Evan comes from. Uh, you know, both are educators. Um, incredible humility. Um, fun people to be around and uh, quiet stoic confidence um, that doesn't rub as any any sort of ego or arrogance but they know um, how good they are uh, it, it's it's really remarkable uh, a really mar remarkable family that Evan comes from and and his parents have raised um, both their sons incredible and so like we're very fortunate uh, to have him here for a lot of different reasons I think He's just an incredible human being to start. And then you add the skill set. You know, you have the foundation. You add the skill set to a uh, seven-footer that can do everything. 
Um, and I think the thing that, that really drove this forward for us was every, he makes winning plays on every possession. And the last game of the season, the 20 year old who we've, we played a ton of minutes and he had to have been exhausted. Um, the play of the game for us that gave us a chance was when he tracked down DeAndre Hunter and ran 94 feet and pinned his shot to the basket, uh, to, the, to, the, to the backboard. Um, how many 20 year old rookies are doing that? How many 20 year old rookies are thinking the defensive end or that play to save a game um, instead of what I can do on the offensive end? How do you feel personally about where you are at with this team? I feel great about where I'm at, you know? Um, you know, we j actually just talked about anytime you have a, a trade, a mid-season trade, um, it's tough. Um, but, you know, this team made it a lot easier on me. Um, just with, you know, um, learning the system and, you know, learning uh, my teammates' tendencies and things like that. Um, but I think, you know, another summer under our belts, uh, just being around each other a lot more will really help us going forward. Yeah, this is where I want to be. Um, they know that, you know, the front office knows that, my teammates know that, so um, I don't know, you know, what's going to happen with that um, contract um, extension, um, but I know where my heart is, I know where I want to be, um, so we'll see what, what happens going forward. Oh, look, I, I, as a whole, I, I think he's not hes not a selfish guy by any stretch, and I think he'd look to make the right play. We just need him to go, to go score a lot more uh, with us um, for his role. But no, I, I, listen, I think where we want to get to, um, which is the playoffs, you need that. You need that skill set. Everything breaks down. You're over-scouted. They're trying to take your best players away. You know, can you have someone that can go get, get a basket for you? And so um, we, we, we value his skill set very much. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the support. Thanks for coming out, packing out Rocket Mortgage. Uh, be back next year. Be ready to rock it out. He was, he was ninth in the league in, in net rating on off court. Um, he, he impacted winning on such an amazing level. It was really hard to not have him on the court, you can see. Um, and so uh, for, for, for me, it's, you know, obviously I'm really proud of, of him, the work ethic. Uh, he also comes from an incredible foundation. The Garlands are an amazing family and um, super humble, hilarious as well. Incredibly, uh, they're just, exude joy and you can see where Darius gets that but you know I've, I've I'm one of the rare people in the world that have probably watched every minute of Darius Garland basketball right dating back to um, you know Vanderbilt you know when he played four and a half games so I've watched literally every minute of his career and so when people ask are you surprised about this jump I'm not because I've seen his flashes early on in his career and even his rookie year which much maligned rookie year that he was there was amazing flashes there. Um, he turned those flashes into large stretches his sophomore year. So after, after All-Star break last year, he was one of the best guards in the East for a long stretch. Um, so he's turned flashes into stretches. And then this off season, we saw him on the select team where he absolutely belonged. Uh, he, he grew and he played alongside and competed with some of the best guards in the NBA. Um, and now he turned it into a season. Right, so you had great flashes to great stretches to an elite season. And, and so I've seen this growth and this progression out of him. I think the thing that we're really excited about from him is his leadership um, and how he, his voice has grown, um, how he's, le he's led a franchise, his toughness. We put a lot on his shoulders this year. Um, there were times that he had to play the whole entire second half for us to get that game home. Uh, kick him off the floor, we had no chance. So he's grown immensely. Uh, like I said, I've seen, we wouldn't have drafted him fifth if I didn't see the talent level, but he's grown each year. And, and again, if you, you look back to post All-Star last year, um, that month, that stretch there where he was consistently putting up 21 and eight, you know, that turned into a full year of about 22 and nine at a really, really high clip. Um, and, and the creativity, the imagination, he's just an exciting player and he's going to be in Cleveland for a long time and he embraces it here. He loves it here. And, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're fortunate that, uh, he's a Cavalier. Interesting. Um, 
who do you think was the first person out here when I walked through the, the door working out? Colin Sexton. Um, here right now, right, after the season's over and still in Cleveland working out. He, in a lot of ways, um, was the start of not only the rebuild, but the culture that we have in place now. Um, we asked him to do a tall task, right? Four straight finals, and, and now we're sort of starting anew. Um, and he was the start of that. And we wanted to have a place that thrived from great attitude, great work ethic, and somebody that really wanted to be in Cleveland, Ohio, and help us get back to those heights. He embodied every part of that, and he still does today. How important is it for you to stay here in Cleveland? Um, I want to be here in Cleveland. I love the organization, love my teammates, and um, whatever happens, I know that um, Cleveland was was really good to me, and I know I, this is the place that um, that helped me get to where I am today, and I, I know I want to continue to be a part of this winning culture and be a part of this culture. Uh, I feel like um, me just being able to be the start of it uh, helped us get to where we are um, yesterday and where we are right now in the present. So I, I love Cleveland. I, I want to be here. So that's it's been the toughest. It's been the toughest year uh, I faced uh, in my basketball career, but I know um, I have a good support staff. I got good coaches here and good trainers. I, I know everybody here is going to um, help me get through it and help me get to um, where I need to be. I think the, the thing that I'm most proud of is how this team captivated a city, um, you know, put the league on notice, but they, they really they captivated the city, they captivated a fan base, and it was it was done the right way. And uh, we're really excited about what's what's to come next.